obstacle racing is Ooh, the fastest growing sport. Racing, okay. Race. race. Fastest growing sport in America. You talking like Spartan, Spartan Tough Mudder, Tough Mudder, Check. Warrior I follow Dash. You. Obstacle course races like Spartan Race and Tough Mudder are designed to challenge the mental and physical toughness of the competitors through a series of obstacles such as climbing over walls, running in mud, and swimming in freezing temperatures. I've raced in over 60 races, and since 2012, I've been coaching people and prepping them for these races. So we utilize body weight exercises, kettlebell training, rope climbs, monkey bar traverses, mobility and skill sets to provide a unique experience that hasn't been seen on the market yet. Alex is pitching us on a cool concept. If you can get on board a trend and ride it, you're halfway there. How are we monetizing this? The obstacle race industry is a quarter billion dollar market. Yeah, it's big. Business is booming. There's three different ways we can do this right now. One, a shared studio. Our second model is a standalone studio, which has already been done. I've got two locations in New York. I've got one in Providence, Rhode Island. This year alone, we're on target to do about $700,000. So the two a boutique fitness gym? Yes. I mean, that's, that's huge. Our third model is to run classes in a big box gym like Retro Fitness. Okay, so wait. Right now you're giving me three. Three you, options. You gotta figure out what your model is. I like this whole boutique. I mean, it's working already for you. Your studios are generating a ton of money. Focus there. But what, why if someone is, is eager to partner with me or eager to do my program and they're excited? Trust me, you need to pick one or the other. And then you need to know the financials of one or the other. So let's just say you're right. I, of course I'm right. I'm me. <laughs> Alex's business is a startup. He doesn't have enough resource to develop two business models simultaneously. This is why he should focus on the boutique model and make that successful. All right, guys, so today's workout is the grind. All right, we're doing okay. 75 seconds active, 20 seconds rest. Oh, damn. 75 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And there's very little recovery time in between circuits. It's a brutal work to rest ratio. Go! Monkey bars. Quick, 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 quick. Hips up now, hand over hand. Keep it moving, keep your core tight. Rotate! You want 75 seconds of that? <laughs> Rotate! Okay. Trying to catch my breath. You're down, hit your target. Oh my God. 14 Alex. pounds, Jill, 14 oh, pounds. 14 pounds? So scale it down to level one. So just no, spot. I will not scale it down to level one. No, put your pride away. This guy is handing us our asses. Woo -wee. Obi, so you gotta scale it back to level one, all right? But not in like a good way. Scale it down to level one. Lolo? Is this one or two? This is one. You gonna be here? Pop. All right, level one is where we start. 20 seconds rest, let's get set. 20 seconds ain't a lot of rest. For 75 seconds, it's a big... Let's go! Circuit training is all about the two to one work to rest ratio. For example, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Alex's 75 to 20 ratio is absolutely insane. Two, one, and relax, guys. Give me a high five. Oh my All God, right. it's too hard. I believe you're gonna lose too many people. I totally disagree Because, with you. dude, this is an elite class, and you have to actually be conditioned for this, right? No, so, no you do not. It you is have one for of the best athletes in the world doing level one. It's the first she's time she's- doing level one. It's the first workout she's ever done. Yeah, but time She's out. the first workout I, she's ever done. I train two to six hours a day. I should be able to get in this workout and go to level Blow three. And I'm telling you, you're not listening. Workout. You're not listening to what everybody's saying. I had to go back to level one. That's not a confidence booster for me. I'm a three-time Olympian. You think I want to go in this and be like, oh, I'm at level one. Thank you, Olympics, for the 15 years I've been training my life. <laughs> These obstacle races aren't easy. All right, people have to have mental toughness okay. to get okay. through them. So now you're disrespecting me saying I'm not mental tough. Mother, I will beep out all my customers. So I'm about to go ham. Lord, this Lord. is one class pause. in seven different Babe, classes pause. that we offer. Listen to me. Listen, 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 okay? Everything is gonna come with feedback. Just hear it, try to hear it. I felt like I needed to explain myself. They decided to really try to go to level three in the epic level and they should have been a level one. It was day one. But I'm very confident because there is no chance I'm going home. Nice, clean story. You're gonna train like football players. That's the brand promise you're making that you gotta deliver on. I'd like to see things that were really unique to football that I couldn't get unless I was doing football. Like sleds.